Starting out with the first, the traditional martini. What is in it? Okay. Gin and vermouth. If that was your cue to then say, what is in well, the traditional martini? Are we rolling martini? now? We're rolling. We've oh, been rolling. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Ready? I'm what is up, everybody? This is Johnny. This is John. And we're going to teach you the six different ways to order a martini at the bar. Now, why do you think this is so important for people my age, but also people your age? All right, so the most important thing is to kind of have an idea of what you want to drink before you even step up to the bar, right? So if you want to simplify this for yourself, are you going to go with gin? You're going to go with vodka? You're going to go with tequila? You're going to go with a bourbon? Pick a spirit and focus on that, right? From that point, you have a lot of different options, which we're going to talk about today in the martini category. Everything we're going to be talking about today is based off of the traditional martini, which is made with gin and vermouth. First and foremost, let's make a traditional martini for him. All right, let's do it. Well, when you go to a bar and you're confused about what to order, right? right at least if you have the one main spirit in mind, vodka or gin, in this case, gin, and you wanna then go into that category of the martini, right? Now right. we can just stay and simplify the differences. So, gin martini, we have four parts. I'm gonna eyeball this because this is what we do. Yeah, that's it, okay, good. Dry vermouth, we need some ice. Well, right now we're stirring these. We're just gonna stir this martini, which is your traditional gin martini, with the dry vermouth, okay? Right, and dry vermouth has its own taste to it. So it's, it's really gonna be something that when you sip, you will know what's in there. Now also a hack for the, uh, for the bar here, ordering a martini is probably the best bang for your buck. You're getting about three ounces of liquor, whether it's vodka or gin, compared to if you were doing like a club soda and vodka, you're only getting about like a shot there. So again, if you're looking for a bang for your buck, grab a martini. Okay, I chilled my glass. This is water and ice. I always love to do that. See the right frost line? And now we're just gonna simply pour, and you can see the color, right? Look at that. And for an eyeball, I did pretty good, didn't I? Right, because that's a nice pour of a martini that has a lot of vermouth in it. And uh, well, cheers, let me give it a taste. That's got a lot of gin, obviously flavor to it, but this is also the vermouth flavor. You can always take a few different things. We're, we can use these olives, pimento stuffed olives, People have blue cheese stuffed in there. Good things come in threes. So now you just garnish it with your olives. And there you go, that's pretty good, right? Uh, okay, uh, you wanna put your, there's a reason there's a stem. Why don't you hold it down there? Explain the reason for this. There's a reason, well, as your fingers touch up here, you're gonna warm up the liquid, the, obviously the martini glass is designed this way. You don't wanna put your fingers on there to warm it up. Keep it down there. Yeah. This is always optional, you can always do this. Some people think that's regal. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. Great. Tasty? Yeah. Okay, next martini. Let's repurpose those olives, please. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Okay, next martini we have wet martini. Ooh. So in the wet martini, you have your parts of gin, and you're also gonna use your dry vermouth. You're gonna use more vermouth than you would in your traditional one part martini. So we're gonna use a lot more of this. So when you drink this, you're gonna taste a lot of the vermouth. Some people really like the, the flavor of that. It, in the gin uh, spirit, it'll take over a little bit more of the botanicals that are in a regular gin cocktail. Maybe It may be an easier drink for the newbies out there. Okay, so very simple, right? Chilled our glass again, water and ice. Give us some pour. Again, the color is darker. Again, great pour. Thank you. I boiled it, not bad. Okay. What are you talking about? All right, about? we're gonna garnish it with the olives, right? Pimento olives, look how pretty those are. Love it. All right. Cheers. And you gotta taste it. I know now. Got it? That's got good color too. Good, right? Delicious. Yeah. Up. Bottoms yeah. up, bottoms up. Okay, cheers. Mm. Now, next up is the opposite of a wet martini. Dry martini, right? Which is? Dry martini is less vermouth. Check sense. this out. We Simple are gonna enough. put this in the glass and we are just gonna swirl it around. Wow. It gives it the vermouth flavor on the glass, right? See that? And then we're gonna get rid of it. So no actual so vermouth still in, in there. The, uh... No, nope, it's still in there. Then we're gonna take our gin. In this case, this is the, the dry gin martini. Being stirred versus shaken, which we're gonna have another option. You don't want to bruise the gin, as they say. Well, this definitely keeps the alcohol content when you stir it preserved versus if you shake it, you put air into it, okay? Let's 
get this going here, right? Okay, oh. now you have the vermouth that's really in the glass, but it's not gonna overpower and take anything. Sorry, I ran out of gin. We're gonna take some olives. We can garnish it with olives, pimento olives. So that's a little bit of a, still good looking. You can see the color is clear because it's just the gin. Now you'll taste more of the gin and the botanicals of the gin overpowering that drink than anything. Yep, I right? sure will. All right, cheers. That's enough for you. You have to pace yourself. I'm gonna to go to the gin mill up right back. And one of the most popular ways to make a martini would be the dirty martini. Yep. Just explain to them what a dirty martini is. Hmm, that's good stuff. Huh? Oh, well, dirty martini, ready? So here's what we do on a dirty martini. We are gonna use our, our gin. And we're gonna use some of our vermouth. Okay, a little vermouth. And then the secret ingredient is the olive juice. Okay, this is gonna take on a lot of flavor. So however dirty you want it, really dirty, you'd add a lot more. This is gonna take out a lot of flavors and really overpower probably the drink, um, best way to explain it, because you're gonna taste more of the olive, ju olive juice than anything. Dirty martini, one of my favorites. I do like it. So really all it is is a traditional martini with olive juice added in. That's it, traditional martini with, with, with the olive juice and the vermouth, all right? Cool. Chilled glass. Okay, watch the color. You're gonna see the color of this. Okay, you see that color again? Good pour when I had the right amount. Nice, look at those babies. How good looking is that? Hmm. wow. See, color, you guys getting that? Yeah, a little Cheers. darker, enjoy it. It's darker, enjoy that, okay? This is good. This has, uh, yeah. this has uh, pre steak night written all over it. You yeah. have one of these before you uh, go yeah. sit down at the table. That's for sure. It's good for hangover too. Salty. Wow. From the mm. olive juice. Yeah, you like salty, you like olives, you're gonna love dirty martini. This is a martini that you may not have heard of before. It's called a Gibson. Oh, wait, John, wait, I come back in. Here. It's called a Gibson, and it's pretty much just a traditional martini with a different garnish. What is that garnish? Uh, pickled onion, I guess the folklore of it. Um, is such that at bars, everyone had martinis, everyone always put in olives. This uh, serviceman, whether he was a, an officer or not, he wanted to put in the olives into his martini glass so he knew as they were hanging out at the bar which drink was his, mm -hmm. hence the name, the Gibson. Now, I just wanna make sure, I'm not positive, but a Gibson may be made just like a dirty martini but with the onion juice. A Gibson, a Gibson is any vodka, gin, like if you said, I want a gin Gibson, I want a vodka Gibson. Are they pouring it's, the it's juice the same, in? It's the, no. Are you sure? It's not dirty. You no. sure about that? I look it up. Yeah. So the Gibson is purely um, a, a regular martini. So we're gonna go one part vermouth. And we're gonna go back here to our gin. Four parts, two. I have this glass frosted already. Let's see. Nice. Uh, Again, good pour. And then, of course. A little light on the pour. And then, of course, this is your pickled onion. Okay. Ooh, eat that. Uh, I don't like pickled onions. But yeah, but you have to eat it. You have that. Good. Cheers. You have to eat it for the game. Sure. Yeah, these are getting. Uh, yeah. Yep. Here, you want to eat it? Nope. Come on. Nope. Just you have it. to. You're the one that made it. You Just made the drink. It. Just eat it. Cut. I'll eat it. Is it good? That's a pickle. Yeah, yeah, that's a pickle. You know what? There, that's a pickle. Mm. I don't like that. And now the last way you can order martini is with the twist. twist. Okay, gin. Gonna go with some vermouth. Stir it up. Got my frosted glass. You guys see that? That is so critical. I knew it. I knew it. This is the last pour. Yeah, I knew it. We're gonna go with a twist, right? Always take your fruit from the top to the bottom. Okay, you'll get more use out of it. Those who are trying to, right? See that? Going this way versus along this way. And the effervescence, love this, around 
the rim like this. Even give it a little, what we call that rim job, drop it in there. It looks pretty good. It looks delicious. So you're gin martini with a twist. Those are pretty much all the ways you can order a martini. The only difference is now would be if you preferred vodka over gin. Right. And shaken versus stirred. Stirred, right, like so, James Bond. So what we, we traditionally know about shaken versus stirred, right? You shake citrus, you stir the spirits, right? So we've pretty much stirred all of these gin uh, martinis, right? You saw us doing that. Now, when you add citrus to it, you're supposed to shake it up. Um, some people prefer just it shaken to begin with, which is just gonna be vodka and vermouth. And that, that's okay, they like the, the chilled effect of it. They like the kind of the sound and the presentation of it. Um, it also, by adding air into it and breaking down the alcohol content, it is gonna have less of a delivery because there's more water. So then you have, again, truly a lesser effect of the alcohol content versus when you just stir it and you're not diluting it as much, all right? So let's just go real quick into a shaker here. Sure. Sometimes you get the chunks of the ice in your martini. Yeah, it's, people, it's definitely not. It's a preference. People like the way that tastes. They like the show of it. And uh, it's the way it is. So, Bruce is going to do a regular martini, this time with the, with the vodka. So now, if I were to order, let's say I wanted it with vodka and olive juice, what am I saying first? How do I order that at the bar? Well, if you're going to do it with olive juice, then you're going to do a dirty martini. No, I know, but what if I want it with vodka in it? What am I saying to the bartender? You're going to say a, a dirty vodka martini. So I say dirty you have to first. be specific because if you say you want a martini, a, a good bartender is going to first go with, you know, gin. And if you're going to specifically say, I want a Tito's martini, I want a Grey Goose, I want a Kettle One, you know, that's that's different. You should specify what your spirit is of preference, right? So in here, we just have our vodka. We're going to go a little light here with the vermouth, okay? And this is going to be your shaken martini, vodka martini. One moment. I don't want to break anything. Okay? That's the air that's causing a seal in there. And that's why then there's air and there's bubbles in this and sometimes pieces of ice. Okay? So now we have our chilled glass. We have our, again, pretty good pour, I might say. We go back to the olives and use, again, same olives if you like. Drop them in there. Some people like blue cheese olives. Some people like the little small olives. Good, sip it up. Take wow, a sip. that's almost Come a close perfect pour. Come close. Get in here. Yeah, that's a healthy pour. But you can't see it maybe, but there's chunks, there's some chunks of ice floating on top of this. And so that, that'll obviously give it a different texture. All right, everybody, that is the six different ways to order a martini. I hope this was helpful for you guys next time you go to the bar. Now you know what you're talking about. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, and share with a friend. We will be back very soon for another episode of Johnny Drinks. It's tough. Thanks, guys. Thank you.